Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a feature focus video. In this video we're going to talk about channel grid. It can sometimes be useful to display and edit exactly what each feature is doing. The channel grid window allows you to do that. Display it by double pressing view slash open. Some consoles are labeled view, some is labeled open, some is labeled open slash view. Then channel grid from the window select buttons. It can also be opened from the context menu of the intensity view window. The window can be set to different modes using the context menu buttons. Remember the context menu is going to be the four lines button on the Sapphire Touch, the Titan Go, and D9 consoles, and all the others is going to be just the left of soft keys B, C, and D as shown circled here. The different modes are all stage programmer, Selected lets you filter which, which fixtures are shown in the list. Stage lists all fixtures with a dimmer above zero. Sort lets you list the order as user number, last selected, or DMX address. Open intensity view opens the intensity view window. You can swap back to the channel grid by pressing the open channel grid button in that window, which is in the same position. Show slash hide palettes lets you show which palettes are allocated to fixture attributes. Playback levels, shapes, effects, times. Only one of these buttons can be selected and sets what is displayed in the columns. You can select fixtures by touching the fixture names on the left of the screen or by selecting any of the fixtures, the appropriate fixture will automatically be selected. You can clear attributes in the channel grid by selecting them, touch or touch and drag to select multiple attributes, then press clear. You can edit values by selecting one or more values in the grid, then modify the values using the wheels or type in a new value on the numeric keypad and then press enter. You can filter what is shown in the grid, either by IPCGBES, so intensity, position, color, gobo, beam, effect, or special attribute, using the buttons on the top left, or by fixture type, using the buttons below that. So let's have a look at that. Siriham on version 14 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. So if we double press view, and then we select channel grid, we can see our channel grid window here. We see down the uh, left-hand side here, we've got... Uh, the filter for the attributes, so all to just intensity, gobo, color, position, beam, effect, and special, or show all. We can also filter by fixture types if you want to have just our dimmer fixtures, or just our BMFLs, our DL7s, our spiders, our beam 150s, or our QPix panels. If you were to bring up a playback, such as, oh, we'll go with this one. We can see that the values that those fixtures are at are currently shown. It has a dash, it means it's the same as the home values. So if we wanted to edit a particular fixture, let's say we'll go ahead and narrow it down to our BMFLs. And let's say we wanted to edit the dimmer value on all of them. We could select it here and use our wheels to take it up. Or we could just type it in and press enter and see that it took all of our dimmers to 100% on those fixtures. If we wanted to edit, say, the pan on these three, we simply select it like that, and again, use our wheels to move it, or type in a value, and press enter and see it takes it to that. We can filter what is shown by looking in our context menu. We should to show all to just show what's on the stage, for instance was actually being output. So if we were to take all our fixtures to zero with no output, we can see that nothing's here, but if we were to raise the playback, we see those fixtures appear. Or if we were to select some fixtures and locate them, we can see that they are added in here also and be able to be seen. If we change it from stage to programmer, it's obviously going to only show fixtures we have in the programmer. So if we were to say, select our spiders and locate them and our BMFL blades and locate them, then we open channel view. We can see that our spiders are shown in here and our BMFL blades because they're in the programmer. If we were to change it to selected, see that it would take it to just the fixtures we currently have selected, in this case, our BMFL blades. If we hit clear, all that would go away. Same with the programmer mode because we no longer had fixtures in the programmer. 
We can change our sort by from user number to last selected. So we'll see that as it shows here, our BML blades, since those are last selected, or what comes up at the top, or by DMX address. I want to sort them by the DMX address. In this case, my dimmer fixtures are on line one, my BML blades are on line two, so forth down the line. Click Intensity View. It will obviously open in the Intensity View. To see and learn more on that, please see our video on the Intensity View. Continuing on, we can have it hide or show palettes. Right now it has hide palettes, so if we have a playback fired, and any of the values were coming from a palette, we can change it to show palettes, and we can see what palette they are coming from. In this case, our color is coming from our red palette. as well as our blue palette. Or we could hide the palettes again. We would use it to show between our different options. Here we have it show playbacks, show what values are coming from what playback. Our levels, just show what the actual levels are. Shapes, if we had any shapes running, we'd be able to see what they are. So if we were to run a shape here and narrow it down to our beam 150s, we can see here that we have a circle shape running. If you had any effects running, we'll be able to see that here also. If we set it to times, we can see any times that we've set in our fixtures in the programmer, either by delay or fade. So that has been the channel grid window in version 14 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.